I'm Scott Cummins. I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine and Pediatrics at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill School of Medicine. My work involves a tick bite induced red meat allergy. It may sound strange, but patients are developing an allergic response to a sugar that is contained in different forms of red meat, and this response seems to develop after people are bitten by ticks. This involves all mammalian-derived products. If someone needs a heart valve replaced, often those valves come from pigs or from cattle. And you can imagine it's not a great idea to put a valve from a pig in someone who's allergic to pork. This is affecting a growing, expanding population in the U.S. as well as globally. We encourage people to get outside, but part of that means you're going to potentially be in places where there are ticks, and you could end up with tick bites. And so just because today you can successfully tolerate whatever you'd like to eat doesn't mean it will always be that way. It really changes the way that these patients have to live, but equally it changes our understanding of a fundamental immune response and food allergy. And this allergy rewrites so many of the rules. And sometimes it's in learning how the rules are rewritten that we begin to understand the rules of immunology in a more fundamental way. UNC is unique when it comes to food allergy because we have a tremendous number of resources here that really aren't found in other places. It's that type of insight that private philanthropy can really move forward very quickly and lead to great advances.